Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Sneasel from Pokemon. Let's get started with the character's upper eyelid. So we're going to move over to the left side and draw a curve. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve in and then down on the inside. Leaving a gap, we're going to draw the same thing on the right. So lining up the inside, we're going to curve up and then out. Now let's draw on the lower eyelid. Starting from the inside, I'm going to draw a straight line going across and out towards the left. Go to the right and go out towards the right. Now let's draw on the side of the eye. Starting from the top, we're going to step in, draw a curve going out and then back in. Do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to make sure that I have an overlap along the top and the bottom. Now let's add in some lashes. Starting from the top, I'm just going to angle down and in. I'm going to fill that in black, and then we'll do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to go up and in, fill the area in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now in between the top and bottom, we're going to add one more point. We're going to go out and then in, fill that in black, do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to move in and draw two small half ovals for the iris and pupil. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now in the center of this half oval, we're going to draw a small oval for the pupil and we'll fill those in black. Just above each eye, we're going to draw a curve. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up and then out. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go to the center and draw in an oval for the gem. Starting in the middle, Work our way down towards the bottom of the oval and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to move down in the center and draw on the nose. We're going to draw a short curve going down and up. Then we're going to move down and start with a point for the inside of the mouth. From the center, we're going to curve down and up, aiming towards the left eye. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the lower edge of the mouth. Starting from the bottom of the curve on the left, we're going to come down. Pull that back up on the right. Now we're going to add the tongue. Starting on the left side, curve up and then down. Now let's move out and draw on the side of the head. From the lash on the left, we're going to step out. We're going to draw a half circle going around the cheek, down below the chin. Now I'm going to bring that back up on the right side. Now over on the right side, we're going to add some fur along the base of the ear. Starting up here, we're going to angle up and out. We're going to come straight in. Now we're going to go back up and out with a longer line. And then from here, I just want to draw a curve going over the eye, aiming towards this point. But we're not going to go all the way. We're going to stop right about there. Now I'm going to tuck the ear in behind the fur. From this point, we're going to step back, curve up, and then out towards the right. Now I'm going to pull this down and in towards the base of the fur down and then in. Let's draw the inside of the ear. Starting from this point I want to connect to the tip with a curve going up and then out. Now we want to continue the circle going up towards the top of the head and then in behind the ear. But I'm going to leave a gap over on the right side. So we start right up here, curve up and then pull that down in behind the ear. Now we're going to tuck the ear in behind the head. Starting from this point, we're going to step up, curve up, and then across towards the left. Now I'm going to pull this down and in behind the head. And we're going to leave an overlap on the side. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the arms first. So starting on the left side of the head, we're going to draw a straight line going out towards the inside of the elbow. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to go up towards the wrist. From here, we go up in an angle with a straight line on both sides. Now back over to the left side, we're going to draw two claws coming down. Starting from the wrist, we're going to curve out, down, and then we're just going to pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out, down, and then in. Let's draw the inside of the claw. From here, I'm just going to taper this up, going up and then in. Now we're going to overlap the second claw. From this point, I'm going to step up, curve down over that line, 
and hook that in. Now we're gonna draw the inside of that claw. From here, we're gonna curve up and then in. Now we're gonna draw the lower part of the arm coming in towards the body. So on the inside edge of this claw, we're gonna step down, angle down and in towards the elbow. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm gonna pull this in with a straight line towards the body. We're gonna stop right about there. Let's add a fur detail along the wrist. Starting from the left side, we go up in an angle, come down, and then we'll go up all the way up towards the top of the arm. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting down here, we're gonna go up, come back down, then go up towards the top of the forearm. Now we're gonna draw on the side of the body. Starting from the arm, we're gonna step up, curve out, and then back in towards the leg. We do the same thing on the right side. Now in the center of the body, we're gonna add another oval. The same size of the oval that we have on the head. Going around to the bottom, back up to the top. Now from the hip, I'm gonna draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom of the ankle. Do that on both sides. Now I'm gonna leave a gap for the legs on either side. So on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve, coming down and then up. Let's draw the inside of the leg. From this point, I'm gonna step in, draw another angled line coming down to the same height as we have on the outside. Do the same thing on the right, coming down to the same height. Now let's draw on the feet. From the left side, we're gonna curve in and then down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna round out the bottom of the feet from the heel, I'm gonna curve down and then back up towards the toe. And then from the toe, I'm gonna to curve up and then in towards the ankle. Now we're gonna separate out the toe. From the tip, I wanna curve in and across. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's separate out the claw. From this point, I'm gonna step out curve in and then back out. And then back from the top, we're gonna curve up and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add the tail over on the left side. So we start from the hip, I'm gonna start with a curve, going up and then back down. Now I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction. We're gonna curve down and up in behind the leg. Now we want to take this and draw another one angled up towards the left. So we start from the base of the tail, curve across, and then up. And then from the tip, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, in behind the body. Let's add one more angling down. Starting from the base of the tail, curve across, and then down. And then again, coming in the opposite direction, in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Sneasel from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.